Hey guys, Kaido here from Drifter Stockton, and behind me here I've got a Drifter Stockton hardshell rooftop tent. This is the 1.4 size, mounted up on this F250, and uh, in this video we're going to run through some of the features and give you an up close look at the tent in person. So first we're going to pop it open so we can see inside. As you can see, a little bit rainy here today, but nice weather seals around the outside so we won't have a wet mattress. There's the tent all popped up. Now, uh, let's just run through the materials first. So on the roof, we've got a poly Oxford material, super waterproof and keeps all the rain out. The inner is a poly cotton material, uh, so nice and breathable in the summer and keeps it warm in in the winter. Now, the whole frame of the tent is made of aluminum extrusion, and this extrusion you can actually bolt into and mount your accessories to, so such as the roof bars on top, which are actually included in both models of tent, and your awning brackets on the side. So you can mount all your accessories up to the side without drilling any holes in the tent, which is really handy. Now the whole roof is made of an aluminium composite that you can actually rivet into. So if you want to mount your solar panels and your recovery tracks on top of there, that's no worries. You can drill straight through it. Make sure you put a little bit of ceiling on there to stop the water getting in. And you can mount all your accessories straight onto the roof. So at the top of the ladder, you just got two hooks that hook over the edge of extrusion to mount the ladder. Super easy, impossible to get wrong and makes for a really quick setup. So right around the outside here, you can see you've got three access points. Now this one here on the side, we've got facing the driver's side. Obviously the tent can be flipped 180 so that it's a passenger side. So, or just say you've got a wagon, you can mount it to the back of the car and uh, access straight from the back. So it's pretty versatile in that sense. Now all three of these windows have got super fine, strong mesh on them. That'll keep all your mosquitoes and midges out. And also the inside waterproof layer can be zipped halfway down and allow your airflow in but keep the privacy on the inside. So for mounting options on this tent, on the bottom you've got two long extrusion rails that you can slide some MA bolts into, pretty much drop it on top of any rack you want, put your clamps underneath, tighten up the wing nuts and you're good to go. So for lighting in this tent, we've kept it really basic. Uh, you've got an LED strip that runs the whole length of the roof on the inside, runs off a USB so you can plug it into any of your portable phone chargers, lights up the whole inside of the tent, can't go wrong. So on the front, it comes with two shoe bags as standard. So obviously as you walk up the ladder, take your shoes off, chuck them inside those bags and they're going to stay nice and dry and uh, off the ground. Now for the mattress inside, it's fairly comparable to a swag mattress, so if you're used to that, you'll be fine in this. But we also will have two mattress upgrade options for both our tents. One will be an air mattress and one will be a eggshell foam mattress. Alright, that's a close up look at our Drifter Stock and Hardshell Rooftop Tent. Uh, if you're after any more info, it's all listed on the website, uh, so check it out there. Cheers guys.